This website won award site of the day last week. I heard about it from one of our pro members in our private server. I was really impressed by the scroll effect, but I knew it would be a challenge to recreate it. So I spent a few hours working on it and managed to come up with a pretty good version. I know it's not perfect, but I used what I knew about scroll trigger to pull it off. You can play around with the transitions, add more blocks and use it to improve your website's experience. In this video, I'll show you how to create this block reveal scroll effect using HTML, CSS, JavaScript and scroll trigger. So let's dive into the code without wasting any more time. Let's start by creating a container. Inside this container, we'll add several sections. A hero section, hero image section, about section, about image section and a footer. In the hero, about and footer sections, we'll simply add an h1 tag with some descriptive text. The hero image and about image sections are where things get interesting. First, we'll insert an image in each. Next, we'll construct a container to hold all the block rows. In each section, we'll add 4 rows to this container. Each section will have two blocks container elements, one placed at the top and the other at the bottom, distinguished by the class names top and bottom. We'll duplicate this entire setup for the other image section as well. That's pretty much it. Now let's dive into the CSS part. First, we'll recite the default margin, padding and set the box sizing to border box. We'll set the width and height of the HTML and body to 100%. Next, each section is set to be relative, span the full width of the viewport and have a minimum height of 100 viewport height. For the image sections, we'll double that to 200 viewport height. For the background colors, the hero section will have a dark yellow, the about section a deep green and the footer a muted brown, providing a distinct look for each. Images are set to cover their respective areas completely, ensuring they are positioned absolutely and always under the blocks thanks to the z-index property. Our headings are centered within the sections using absolute positioning and the transform property. We have chosen a large impactful font size, a moderate font weight and slightly negative letter spacing for a bold statement. Now onto the dynamic parts, the blocks. Each blocks container is absolutely positioned either at the top or bottom of its section, sized to a fixed height to neatly contain 400 pixels high rows. Blocks start visible at the top and invisible at the bottom by default, but we'll manipulate these states as we scroll. For color coordination, blocks in the hero image section take the hero's background color at the top and the about sections at the bottom, while those in the about image section follow the reverse. With these styles, our page is not only visually segmented but ready for scrolling animations that will tie together with JavaScript. Moving on to the JavaScript, we'll bring our scroll effects to life using GSAP and its scroll trigger plugin. First, we ensure that our script runs only after the entire DOM has loaded. Then we register the scroll trigger plugin with GSAP, setting the stage for the scroll based animations. Our focus now shifts to the blocks row. 
For each row, we dynamically create 16 blocks. assigning them the class block and appending them to their respective rows. This sets up our grid of blocks ready for animation. Next we target all blocks container. For each container, we find its rows and calculate the number of rows, which is crucial for controlling the timing of animations. As we iterate through each row, we initialize a few key variables. A boolean is stop determines if the container is at the top or bottom, influencing how the block's opacity changes during the scroll. Randomized order shuffles the indices of the blocks to randomize the order in which they appear or disappear as you scroll. We then create a scroll trigger instance for each container. The trigger is set on the container itself, with the animation starting when the container stop reaches the bottom of the viewport and ending when its bottom exits the top. The onUpdate function is triggered as you scroll. Here is where the math comes into play. Progress represents how far the scroll has gone in terms of our start and end points, normalized between 0 and 1. Row delay offsets animation start for each row, creating a staggered visual effect. This is calculated as 0.3 times the inverse index of the row, delaying lower rows more than the upper ones. Adjusted progress accounts for this delay, ensuring animations trigger at just the right scroll positions. Finally, in update block's opacity, we further adjust the opacity of each block based on its order and scroll progress. Blocks either fade in or out depending on their position and the A-stop flag. This is done by scaling and shifting the progress based on each block's randomized start offset, ensuring a smooth and visually appealing transition across all blocks. By carefully coordinating these calculations, we create a dynamic, responsive scroll animation that enhances the visual storytelling of the web page. Hope you found the video helpful. See you in the next one.